now for a pair of new games. One for Nintendo 3DS, and one for Wii U. What better way to celebrate the Olympic Games than with a fresh spin on the Mario and Sonic series? Introducing Mario and Sonic at the Rio 2016 Olympic Games. Obviously, it's set in beautiful Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, where the next Olympic Games will be held in August of 2016. Rio is actually pretty cool that time of year, but with Mario and Sonic there, the competition will really heat things up. In addition to events like the 100 meters, rhythmic gymnastics, and table tennis, these titles will include additional events, including Brazil's most popular sport, soccer, or perhaps football, whatever you want to call it. Depending which version strikes your fancy, you can play some exclusive sports. The Wii U version will include Rugby Sevens in honor of its inclusion in the Olympics this year. As for the Nintendo 3DS version, for the first time in 112 years, golf is coming back as an Olympic sport. Who do you think has the longer drive, Mario or Sonic? These answers and more await you, so please stay tuned. We'll have more to say on the game in the future. Next up, a short little update on a cool new weapon coming to Splatoon. Recognize this? It's time to get pumped, because current and soon-to-be Splatoon owners are about to bust out a brand new weapon, the NZAP-85. This rapid-fire shooter has some impressive ink efficiency, and while it isn't all that powerful, it does a great job of quickly charging up the Echo Locator special weapon. It also comes with splat bombs, so you can claim a whole lot of turf in not a lot of time. I'm also excited to announce the next free new map. It's called Port Mackerel, and it'll have you rethinking your strategies in some really interesting ways. Best of all, this free new weapon and map is launching today, June 1st. That's right, today at 7 p.m. Pacific Time. We're happy to announce that because so many people who played Splatoon over the weekend reached level 10, Ranked Battles will be available for play starting today, June 1st, at 7 p.m. Pacific. The response to Splatoon has been amazing, and we hope to see many more of you online in both Turf Battles and Ranked Battles soon. How am I gonna do this? Oh! Hi! Uh, I, I was just saying hello to this pencil here. There has to be an easier way to create art. Oh, I know! In 2013, we released Art Academy's Sketchpad. With this software, plenty of talented artists have created a wide array of art using the Wii U GamePad controller and shared those creations over Miiverse. To feed your creativity, I'm happy to announce Art Academy Home Studio, an expanded and updated experience that will include a new variety of lessons, 360-degree landscapes to draw inspiration from, and a brand new way to share your creative process with your friends. For the first time ever, Art Academy Home Studio will allow fellow art enthusiasts to upload a time-lapse video of the painting's creation to YouTube. Plus, some all-new lessons are packed in that may just teach some budding painters anything from simple how-tos to a variety of real-world painting techniques. Art Academy Home Studio is now available for pre-purchase and launches exclusively in the Nintendo eShop on Wii U on June 25th. In a past Nintendo Direct, we announced Project Treasure, a four-player co-op action game for Wii U from Bandai Namco Entertainment. We haven't shown off any footage from that game yet. But as of today, you can check out our YouTube channel for a debut gameplay trailer. Okay, before we get back to the game announcements, let's take a second to talk E3. This year at the show, we'll be focusing on going into depth and detail on a variety of games for Wii U and Nintendo 3DS that will be launching in 2015 and early 2016. But there will also be a little something called the Nintendo World Championships! And I'm excited to reveal one of the game's contestants and viewers should prepare for. It's, well, it's a secret to everybody. Mark your calendars because the Nintendo World Championships is set to begin at 3 p.m. Pacific Time, with a pre-show broadcast kicking off the day's activities prior to the tournament. But of course, the Nintendo World Championships won't be the only thing happening with Nintendo at E3. You can get a look at what we've got going on behind the scenes on Periscope and Snapchat, where we just launched new channels. Don't forget to follow us at, at Nintendo America. Wait, did you guys call this a micro direct just for little old me? Must have, because there are still a couple more announcements to get to. Let's start with a trailer for a relatively little experience. Hope you like it.
As you may have noticed in the trailer, LBX Little Battlers Experience is a new game for Nintendo 3DS from the same world as the toys and the anime that launched last year on Nicktoons. The series is scheduled to return in the fall, right in time for the game to launch. The whole franchise revolves around the idea of palm-sized robots called LBX that kids battle against each other in arenas made of a special type of fortified cardboard. When the main character Van gets his hands on a secret prototype LBX, he and his friends must save the world from the rise of an evil faction called the New Dawn Razors. Luckily, they'll be packing exactly the type of heat they'll need for any situation. LBX are incredibly customizable. Across the game world, you can discover more than 130 LBX models and more than 4,000 parts to customize them with. In fact, their heads, torsos, legs, arms, CPUs, and batteries can all be customized individually to create some truly unique robots. You can also choose two weapons per LBX from nine different weapon types and switch between them in battle. Add to that the fact that all weapons and parts level up individually, and the options are out of this world. It would be really cool to get together with some friends and see the tons of different combinations you can all come up with. And the game has your back on that front. It allows for up to six players to connect via local wireless and battle it out. You could even name yours Microville. It could be great. You can experience LBX for yourself on August 21st of 2015. We've got one last Nintendo 3DS announcement, but first, here's a little update on Puzzle & Dragon Z plus Puzzle & Dragon Super Mario Bros. Edition that means big things for anyone interested in the game. There's a little detail we've purposefully declined to mention so as not to spoil the experience for players, but it just might entice some players who are on the fence about it. We already announced that the Super Mario Bros. Edition included in the package would feature eight Mario-style overworld maps to battle across. But now that the game is out there, I'm happy to point out that after you beat the game, there are a whopping eight extra challenging worlds that unlock for your puzzle battling pleasure. As you journey across these additional areas, you'll get new playable characters like Rosalina, Princess Peach, Bowser, Bowser Jr., and the Koopalings. Don't forget that the other half of the package is Puzzle & Dragon Z, which I'm pleased to announce will soon begin a series of weekly online distributions. These gain you access to the dungeons where you can earn a special monster for your team. In fact, the first one is available as of this Nintendo Direct. And just like the Super Mario Bros. Edition, there's some massive unlockable content too. You can gain access to an entire second continent of challenging gameplay after completing the main story of the game. My shrunken head cannot even comprehend how much content that is. For more information on the upcoming online distributions and other tips, please visit the game's official microsite. Now, let's get to some big news for JRPG fans. The sequel to Square Enix's hit role-playing game, Bravely Default, is indeed coming west. The first game was a fan favorite of RPG lovers, and this new title brings back everything fans of the original loved, along with a brand new story and a new protagonist. While you can easily jump into this sequel without touching the original game, those who played the first one can look forward to catching up with some returning characters, as well as a few big surprises the developers have in store for us. Some time has passed since the events of Bravely Default, and a lot has changed, bringing about plenty of new dangers to encounter. Agnes Oblige, a familiar face from the first game, has been kidnapped, and it's up to our hero, you, to save her. You, the main character, is a fearless knight in the service of Agnes, and you, the player, will be joining him on a grand adventure where the battles are deeper than ever. And that is nothing to sneeze at. This series is known for its highly strategic battles already. Dare to risk everything in battle again and again when this new title launches in 2016. Well, everyone, it seems our video today was a little... Short. Hopefully I'll be back to my normal size before E3. Uh, if I can ever get off this desk... Hey, there's somebody in here, you know. 